This is a tutorial on how to make and use sliding joints and also attach it to a rotating flywheel. I'm going to use any movable object to create my slider. Then, using the slider joint, click anywhere in the blue shape and hold. My second click can either be on the background or on the blue shape. This shows the angle. I'm going to set it for a straight angle movement. Either side of where I've just released are two white squares. These represent where the block moves and how far. If I select this, it is how far it moves to the left. And this one, how far it moves to the right. I'm going to put the one that moves to it to the right on zero. Playing this you can see it moves to the left and then back. If you put this center one onto one and play, it will move to the left and to the right and repeat. Also, you can get two objects that interact with each other using a slider joint. Start the same and click anywhere in the first blue shape. Remember the angle and click in the second blue shape. The white squares represent how closer and how far away they move to each other. Because neither of the circles are on the background or their own shape, they're not docked to the background and will therefore move around. You can also cr m attach shapes to a rotating flywheel. Here I'm going to make a flywheel by putting in a circle, a hinge joint, going into the settings of the hinge joint, enabling the motor and adding a little speed. I'm now going to use a slider joint, click in my blue slider and then in the flywheel. This is now moving out and in. You need to be very careful when creating objects like this because the angles are hard to work with. I hope that helps.